Okay, in this session, we're going to call this session part two, entering doors on the engineering side. So let's begin. And we are on the engineering main menu, and we're going to take option one and hit the enter key. And we're going to use the tab key to tab down to job name, and we're going to do a search for the job name. And we're going to use 830003 is the, the job header that I set up in session part one. So I'll enter 830003, and then I'm going to hit the field exit key to write justify the numbers, and then hit the enter key. And now I'm in the opening maintenance screen. Here is where we enter the opening to set up a job. So let's call it opening 101, and I'm going to hit the enter key. And I get an opening quantity field, type of opening, width, height, thickness, door elevation, door material, rating, frame material, frame elevation series, jam width, wall type, hardware set, gauge, and other fields that may or may not apply. So I'm just going to focus on the fields that give us the information that we want to engineer these doors or frames. So I'm in opening 101, and I'll enter the opening quantity, which is, let's say it's 1, and then I'm going to field it to write justify it. Now that's important, because if you don't write just, justify it, and depending where that you enter that quantity in, you'll end up with a quantity of 1,000 or, or whatever, um, depending on where the character lies in that field. So f right justifying by hitting the field key, the field exit key is critical. Now the type of opening, to keep it simple, I put SGL for single. You can put, you can type in the whole word. Uh, keeping it to the least amount of strokes is is in, it's important. So field exit again, and and the cursor will drop down. And here I'm going to put the opening width, not the net door width and the opening height and not the net door height and the th the door thickness in this case is inch and three quarters and you'll notice how i key it in and the elevation and let's say it's a two panel door or whatever your your customer says uses as the door elevation and the material uh, I like to use WD for the door material. It's just easy to remember. Um, some people use SR for style and rail. You could use whatever your preference is. So in this case, I use WD. And I feel exit. And the rating, let's say it's a 20-minute door. And let's say for argument's sake, on this opening, um, there are... The frames are hollow metal and they don't require engineering and we're just focusing on the doors alone. So from this point on, frame material, elevation, series, jam width, wall type, um, face, let's say we're going to put in the species in the face, alder. And the hardware set, I'm going to leave that blank here for a second. Uh, I will go to it. Matter of fact, let me just put in hardware set 01 and then and that's going to be a reference point that we're going to use now you can use different things but I'm going to go with hardware set 01 and then the only other thing that we want to do is put in the hand and let's say it's a left hand it's the location we're going to leave blank we don't that's not rel relevant to engineering so we hit the enter key and We've now put in the information we need, the generic inf information for opening 101. So the next one we're going to put in, let's call it 103. And 103 is identical to 101, except the swing is different. So to make the data entry simple, we can hit the dupe key. And if you go back to the previous tutorials that I talk about, the keyboard setup and what keys, function keys to use, you will see that the three basic function keys to use are the field exit key, the enter key, and the dupe key. So I'm going to use the dupe key, and that's the symbol of duplicating information on a field. Now we can dupe information 
that's on the right. If you look here on the right, the, the information from opening 101 is on the right. And the information on the left is just duping that individual field. So if I do blank fields, what will happen is it will come out blank because blank is in fields on the right. And I'm just going to dupe everything. But the only thing that's different is that the swing is different. So I've just changed the swing. And I hit the Enter key, and it took me back to the opening maintenance. Now, to look at the information that I duped in 103, I'll go back into it, and you'll see that it copied it over. And so now 103 is the same as 101. So I'm going to hit the Enter key, and I'm going to create 105. Now, 105 is identical to 103, but now it's a 2 foot 6. So I put in 2 for 6, and now I'm going to hit the field exit key to jump the, the screen, and I can continue to, to dupe what I want to do. But say this is uh, 105, it's a one-panel door, not a two-panel door. So I just put in one panel, and let's say it's not 20 minutes, so I'm just going to use the field exit key. And it's an older door, and it's hardware set 02. Now, I'm going to talk, uh, in the next session, I'll talk about these hardware sets um, in more detail and how we can manipulate the hardware sets we want. So, we'll field exit, and let's call this left-hand reverse, and hit the Enter key, and go back into it, and you see that the changes are made. So, I've got openings 101, 103, 105. Well, I want to look at those openings, and I can do and F10 to display those openings. And you'll see it at the lower right-hand corner. It says F10 display openings.